Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I've got for you this absolutely gorgeous Volkswagen Golf. Now, as always, I'm gonna do a quick walk around just so you can see the condition of the car, and then we're gonna jump inside and I'm gonna show you the interior as well. Now, this particular car comes with the registration number Foxtrot Echo 09 Hotel Yankee Whiskey. It is a Golf, it's a Volkswagen Golf SE TSI. Uh, it is finished in this lovely shade of silver. Um, it is a hatchback petrol 1.4. It puts out 121 brake horsepower. It was first registered on the 1st of March 2009. And it has a valid MOT until the 14th of December 2024. So it's just been MOT'd, so no issues there. Um, it has an annual road tax of £200. And it sits in the insurance group 17E, which is quite low in the insurance bracket. Uh, so that basically translates in the fact that you're going to pay less money for your insurance. Um, it has a CO2 output of 144 grams per kilometer. And uh, in terms of fuel economy, you can expect to get around 35 miles per gallon around town and 55 miles per gallon on a motorway run. Uh, performance. So... Uh, top speed you're looking at about 124 miles per hour, which obviously I would not recommend but it's there if you need it and It has a 0 to 60 time of 9.5 seconds. So pretty quick pretty quick as well um, Yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I can tell you in regards to some uh, details about the car um, I just want to Have a quick look and see if I can spot any imperfections so I would probably say the alloys would need a refurb um, that is uh, reflected in the price as well and um, like you guys know and don't try to hide anything so yeah the alloys would probably I mean they're, they're still perfectly fine you can still use them but I mean if you want to have them all nice and shiny I would probably say a, um, uh, a wheel refurb would probably do the trick um, having a look inside um, electric windows front and back as well seats are in absolutely lovely condition there's no tears or rips or anything like that with the seats and then down here you've got your glove box along with the um, owner manual and you've got your locking wheel nut in that little bag there as well um, moving over to the rear over here again electric windows on the rear as well again the back seats look like nobody has ever been sat in them to be honest absolutely lovely obviously you've got this um, armrest here as well and you've got a through hatch in there as well actually there we go so if you want, still want to have two people here, but you want to carry some larger items, you can do so by lowering this middle, middle side. Uh, there we go. Went in eventually. Um, oh yeah, one other thing I did notice here is this little hook. So if you've got like a suit or something like that that you want to hang out, um, you can do so. Um, moving over to the rear, I really love the way uh, Volkswagen implemented this opening hatch, it's really cool. Um, again, quite a spacious boot, I mean it's a Volkswagen Golf boot so it is fairly spacious as well. You do get another 12 volt socket up there as well, um, a couple of cubbies here and uh, obviously the seats do fall down as well so you can uh, carry larger items. And moving over to this side, again, same thing with the tire, with the, not the tire, the wheel. Um, probably could do with a good refurb, um, but this is entirely up to you if you want to do it. And there's another thing I'm going to show you in a second. It's a little bit, it's a little ding. You probably noticed it the first time, but I'll still point it out. Um, so again, electric windows, um, seats again. Absolutely lovely. Got a couple of pockets in the back uh, of the front seats as well. And oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to show you is it's got a little bit of a ding here, but I mean, 
it's smaller than my fingernail so yeah you can, uh, I don't know I'm looking at the video right now yeah you can probably see it but I mean it's, it's nothing nothing major um, have a look at the driver's side um, you got your electric windows here for all four lock and unlock for the doors and that's your electrically adjustable mirrors and just kind of taking out the key now so standard Volkswagen key um, let's just jump inside over there that's your um, window uh, windows your lights rather um, and that's where you adjust the headlight position and the uh, intensity of the dashboard um, going over here that's your um, window wipers and uh, that's your dashboard there and over there you've got your indicator stock and it does have cruise control as well which is absolutely great I didn't know that until uh, so I drove it for about an hour back to the garage um, and I was about 50 minutes into the drive I had like 10 minutes left to get here and all of a sudden I found out it had cruise control so yeah um, but at least now you know it's got cruise control um, so yeah key in the ignition all the lights come on as they should and it starts straight away I'm just gonna turn the radio down because I don't want YouTube to strike my video um, now the only three lights that are left on is the fact that I'm not wearing a seatbelt the fact that that door is open and the fact that the handbrake is up. Uh, if I put the handbrake down, that will obviously go away. Um, and then the same thing if I close the door or if I put my seatbelt. But anyway, uh, it's got 114,479 miles. So not not high. I probably wouldn't put it as high because it's, I mean, I've seen, I've seen uh, golfs going well over 200,000 so I'll probably say it's not high mileage um, uh, as you can see the temperature is quite low so um, it's not it started straight away um, it's not a case of me leaving the car running for like half an hour uh, for the engine to get warm and then start it no it just started straight away so there's no problems whatsoever um, as you can see in the speedometer um, well the rev counter rather rather uh, there's no oscillations in the um, indicator, so that it's not misfiring or anything. It's, it drives absolutely beautiful. Um, moving over to this side, uh, so you've got your two air vents, your hazards at the top there, and then this is your radio, which works absolutely fine. I'm just going to turn the music up a little bit. Why do I always think of white chicks when I see when I hear that song? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and Terry Crew, yeah, he's he's the first guy I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Moving down, uh, you've got uh, your selection for radio, media, uh, TP. I guess it's traffic. I I think. Um, and then you've got the menu. Then you've got seek track and uh, the folder there um, moving down uh, you've got rear window defrost AC and recirculate and then you've got <clears throat> the first one is to select the temperature second one is to select the fan speed and the third one is where you want the air to come out from moving a little bit lower you've got um, a 12 volt slash cigarette lighter and then in there you've got your ashtray slash coin holder I guess um, over here good old six-speed manual gearbox um, now as always what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all the gears just so you can see that there's no crunching or anything like that when you go through the gears so basically um, <clears throat> what that does uh, just should tell you if you hear that <coughs> when you go into gear I apologize for that um, sound uh, but if you do hear that sound when you change gears that basically uh, that could be two things either the clutch is on its way out or the gearbox is on its way out um, and usually the gearbox is a more expensive job to do than the clutch so but this one doesn't have any of those things so let me just show you so foot on the clutch
and reverse. So it goes through all the gears absolutely fine. There's literally no issues whatsoever. Um, moving a little bit lower here, you got a couple of cup holders with this little uh, opening and closing tray. Um, good old manual handbrake. I love manual handbrakes. Um, well, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I love manual handbrakes. Um, that's because they are reliable. Um, auxiliary port in there, and you've got a USB port in here as well. So opening this up, um, media in, you've got another cubby there, and another one just in there. Um, another thing I do like about these um, hand rests are on the uh, Volkswagens is that they are adjustable, so you can lift it and it stays at a certain level. Like that so it gives you a better support and it also extends so brilliant um moving over here you've got your um automatically dimming mirror which basically means that um if you get somebody that drives with their high beams um at night behind you um the light the mirror will automatically dim itself so it'll basically it's not going to blind you um, interior lights up here Normal they work obviously um, and Moving over here. You've got a sunglass holder Which is absolutely brilliant. I think every car should have a glass sunglass holder um, and yeah, there was one other thing I've noticed in this car and It might just be me, but I've never seen it before So I don't know if this is factory fitted. I don't know if it's retrofitted but is that thing so that's basically Bluetooth for your phone and I'm guessing streaming as well because when you press that blue connect ready it sounds official I mean it doesn't sound like Bluetooth connecting like that so again <laughs> I'm sorry for the uh, but Use you know recognition available options are call dial phone book redial emergency or setup or say cancel to exit cancel see it sounds official it doesn't sound like one of those tinny broken english system anyway <laughs> um so yeah it does sound official i don't know if this is actually original or if it was retrofitted but it looks pretty original. It looks cool as well. I've never seen it before. So, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, that's what the car looks like. It is absolutely lovely. It drives absolutely superb. There's literally no issues with it whatsoever. It's just been serviced, like I said. It's just been MOT'd. Um, it's, it's absolutely fine. There's no issues whatsoever. Um, let me just turn the lights on. And I'm gonna pop the bonnet as well, so we can have a look under the bonnet. Not that there's much to see down there, because it's mainly plastic these days anyway, so. But, at least you can hear how quiet the engine is. There it is. Holy leaf. So, yeah. It runs absolutely superb. There she is. Right, well, if you guys are interested, or if one of you is interested, um, don't hesitate to contact me. Phone number is 01684 355032. More than happy to answer any questions you guys might have. Uh, if you want to come and take it out for a test drive, be my guest. There's no issues with that whatsoever. So, yeah, please let me know if you are interested and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for um, your time and for listening to me rambling on for nearly 15 minutes. But um, hopefully this was a, an informative video. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.